everybody. Today's video is going to be a little bit weird, and I know you probably wouldn't expect anything less from me, right? Because I am kind of weird. But um, yeah, today is going to be a day in the life of me. <laughs> I get asked the questions like, oh, you know, you're, you, it must be awesome to be able to, you know, be an artist and do what you do and, and make a living. And it's true. That is awesome. But, you know, it's, it's like any job. We all have our, you know, we go through our day and we, and we have to juggle everything that has to be done. And you're going to get to see a little bit about, how, you know, like what I do, what, what's my day like? Uh, everything from... <laughs> getting up, getting a shower, brush my teeth, putting on makeup, you know, the stuff, the stuff that we do. And um, yeah, I have to have chosen St. Patrick's Day. I don't know why it just worked out that way. But anyhow, you're going to get to see that day. So thanks so much for joining me. I'm Suzanne Bear Justice. And normally you would come here to see, you know, painting tutorials and product reviews and more artsy stuff. But today's video is a little bit, uh, it's, it's, it's deviated from the normal stuff and that it's just going to go ahead and take you along on my journey through a day. And uh, so sit back, enjoy, and thanks for being here. And again, if you're my subscribers, thanks so much. And if you're not, you know, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what a typical day of Suzanne Barrett Justice is like. Good morning and welcome to my day. Alright, 6.30. Let's get this show on the road. Time to get my day started. A quick tooth brushing and jump in the shower. And I have to go downstairs and let Mr. Singer out because it is potty time. His first time out. Come on, Singer. Go potties. Singer and I oftentimes will be out in the morning just to see the sunrise. Well, not intentionally, it just happens to coincide with his, his uh, morning bathroom time, but, but just to listen to the birds singing. It's beautiful. And now time for Singer's breakfast, and he's gonna have that with a little yogurt. And I have to have my coffee and I put a little syrup in it. And of course, the, here starts the moisturizing and makeup. Of course, when you get to be about 56 years old, this challenge is just a little bit greater than it was when you were younger. So yeah, we gotta get our makeup on and make things happen here. So yeah, this, this type of thing doesn't just happen overnight. So here we go. And now we have to do the hair. You gotta comb this wet hair out and then you've got to put your curl gel in and you know, the stuff, you know, I gotta have coffee cause you know, coffee. And use a little diffusing hair dryer and dry your hair. Oh, <sighs> to be a girl, it's just something we have to do. Okay, you just saw my daily morning routine. So we gotta go get dressed and uh, get Singer out one last time and then on our way to work. So here's something adorable. My big old boy still thinks he can fit into a little old dog bed. Now, this used to be Phoebe's bed, if you remember Phoebe. And when Singer was a pup, well, a smaller pup, he fit. But he doesn't exactly fit now. Now he likes to sit and watch me put on my makeup and get dressed in the morning and he's, he accompanies me basically everywhere. And oftentimes he's chewing, uh, in this case, a uh, cow hoof. <laughs> Cause you know, 
makeup and hair takes time. So you gotta have something to chew. Okay, so here's the deal. Mr. Singer does not like to get in the car. He is, you know, he does fine. He kind of gets a little, he doesn't really, he just doesn't like to ride in the car. So he has to be persuaded. <laughs> and he also has to be on a leash. You can't tell, but he is actually on a leash and he's following me. See you, Leo. Bye. Leo's our, I'll show you Leo. It's Leo over there. He says, bye. He found us years ago. Um, he was somebody's escape bird. And I'm on saying, and he kind of stayed. <laughs> and he's been with us for, I don't know, going on 10 years probably, something like that. Something like that. Okay, I need two hands and I can't videotape. So, blah. So it's St. Patrick's Day. And I have green on from head to toe. And I'm sitting here trying to trying to potty out my dog here. He kind of likes to he likes to poop in obscure places. But anyway, it is so I have army green, I have emerald green, I have my sneakers are green, and even my earrings are green. So I'm not getting pinched. I'm just saying. So <laughs> this is what this is what we have to do. And of course, I like green, so green is my favorite color. And we will have, well, I shouldn't let you watch this, but it's happening. So we should probably just put some kind of music interlude here while Mr. Singer takes care of business. I'll turn this off, private moment. Okay, here's the hard part in my mornings. I have, my dog keeps getting bigger, okay? And he's not exactly keen about getting in the car. And he goes to the studio with me every day. So, I have to pick him up. And, oh, I'm there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's a good boy. Now, once he's in the car, he's, he's really okay. But it's like, he does, he's never really, truly excited about being in a riding shotgun. Go figure. Donkey donkey, let's back out. Although, last night my son said to me, Mom, you kind of parked crooked. All right, looks like I got out okay. Guess I better turn that down so YouTube doesn't get on me for copyright situations. Okay, I need two hands, folks. But off to work we go. <laughs> We made it into the studio. There's Singer. He survived the car ride. It wasn't really that bad. I'm like two miles away from my downtown studio. So, yeah. Um, obviously, I leave my student easels out, which I could say it's because, um, you know, I have so many students, but really it's because I'm lazy and I just kind of left them out. I almost always have to have at least one or two, two easels out but not all of them, so um, there's that. But yeah, we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you a little bit what happens on a daily basis here, you know, for me, the life, <laughs> a day in the life. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just show you what goes on. I'll, you know, expedite most of this because most of it's boring. I probably will, uh, okay, so like this is the deal. Today I have, um, um, <laughs> it's my busiest day. Okay, I have three students. Um, one of my students is online from Hawaii. So that always adds a little bit of a challenge. And one of my students who's normally here from 10 to 12 is actually coming and working a double one to five because she was out with COVID. So she's back now, she's well. And uh, so she's gonna be here with my other student. Plus it's just gonna be very full day. Add on top of that, 
the fact that I have to go to my daughter's apartment to get her poodle, Singer's brother, and that both of them are going to get their very first big boy haircuts. Um, but luckily for me, <laughs> the groomer's right across the street. So it's gonna be nice because I'll be able to just bring them over when they need to be brought over. But I'm here to tell you, I used to keep both pups here at the studio and now they're bigger, much bigger. And it was tough when they were little because they were doing as boys do. They were roughhousing so much, peeing all over my studio. And I'm like, uh, no, I, I'm not even doing that. So I was gonna have my daughter drop Teddy off here, but uh, no, we're not doing that. She just lives a few miles away. She's not that far. So I'll just go over, get Teddy, bring him to the groomers. So there's gonna be a lot of back and forth. Oh, and add the whole student thing. And oh, am I supposed to paint? And oh, oh yeah, la, 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 la. so yeah, you're getting, you're getting a feel. You're getting the feels of what usually goes on in any given day here at the studio. One of the many things that I have to do that's kind of one of the behind the scenes things is update my uh, website. Something I very often neglect. And here you see me doing just that. Okay, one of the main things that I am very good to neglect <laughs> is updating my website. Uh, I have my website through um, FASO or Fine Art Online Studio, I guess is what it is, FASO, F-A-S-O. And they're a wonderful host, did easy website to work with. Love it, love it, love it. So anyhow, I just uploaded some new, you know, photographs of some of my art that I, you know, we're talking months out. It's been a long time since I've updated. So I need to go into my website, go ahead, title the pieces, which gallery they're in, prices, and a lot of times, uh, I may not have all this art. Um, some of it's already been sold. Some of it is in other art galleries to be sold. Some of it has been sold out of art galleries and I'm not even sure about the inventory yet. So I've got to go through here and update. And I uploaded, started uploading the other day. So from, from the, this blue line of the crow piece all the way up has to be uh, updated, labeled, you know, all that good stuff. So we'll do some of that right now. Okay, so I am just uh, reloading my palette and I kind of use a, a loose a loose version of the Zorn palette when I'm working, um, especially with portraits, but I mix a lot of the Zorn colors using primarily the yellow ochre, ivory black, cadmium red, and white, but I always fudge on it. I always add other colors, and I, I like to have my cool reds in here too, so... Um, I put a lot of alizarin crimson and just other colors. I just use a lot of different colors. So I am, um, you know, every time I back off of a painting for even just a little while, I have to almost kind of get re-familiar with it. Um, if you are watching my YouTube channels, you'll know that I just completed a uh, piece on sage grouse. I then, since then has started a piece that is now, it will be available on my Patreon before it gets to uh, YouTube of a uh, posthumous portrait of a, a little cattle dog piece out of North Carolina. And uh, then I have this one. So I kind of flop around on pieces. I don't, I don't stay put for very long. And so anytime I leave a piece for just a little while, I have to kind of get like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I remember this. I remember you and um, so that's what I'm doing now. And so I'm just kind of, and I don't know why I'm getting nuts here and putting so much paint down on this palette because I know in just a few minutes, my student Shelly will arrive and, <laughs> and we'll get into her stuff, which that's why she, you know, that's why she's paying me. But um, um, 
she's also working on a portrait. So sometimes it's, it's, you know, it's conducive to have us both working side by side. She's able to watch and see what I'm doing, which <clears throat> oftentimes is as much a learning process as watching me paint, especially if we're working on the same type of stuff, like a portrait. So we take advantage of those moments, or I should say, I take advantage of those moments and uh, we just go with it. We just go with it. And uh, yeah, I think we're, we're about where we need to be on what paints I'm adding here. And I do like my 12 shades of gray and you've heard me talk about them before, perhaps. Um, they're nice to mix into your flesh tones. I mean, they're nice grays to use for your toning. Um, I mean, you, you don't have to buy stuff like that, but gee whiz. They make it, they make it really easy. And I am looking for my new tone gray. That's warm gray. Got so many different grays here. And we can put this one out. I just put like a little bit out and I'll show you the palette here in a minute. This, this will also become a YouTube video, but I have to say there's times when I don't always, you know, I'll show you everything, you know, <laughs> I'll show you everything. So, okay, so there you go. That's kind of my palette. I know it's a big fat hot mess right now, but believe it or not, I know where everything is. So we're gonna jump in and start working here. And uh, this is when I wish that I had an actual, another camera. I, I really should invest in a camera. Maybe at some point, that is a little Mundy mop. Um, maybe one day when um, I'm rich. <laughs> You know, it's always that, it's always that day. One day, one day I'll be rich and I'll be able to afford all kinds of audio and visual equipment. But for now, I'm using my iPhone. And, uh, and I'm happy to be able to do it. So I'm selecting the brushes that I think I need to use here, including sables and eclipses uh, of rosemaries. Um, Getting us some of a, like a little bit wider brush here. Just, you know, going through my brushes. But since today's video is really not as much about painting as much as it is about. And about this time, my first student came in and she's also working on a portrait. So my painting alongside her is actually beneficial. She was the first of students and I actually had three that day and I had several of them simultaneously. <laughs> Come on, bud. He's, he's all about healing right now, so he's, he's staying at my heel, but it makes it hard to, uh, to videotape. <laughs> so we're lucky because my studio is right there, and his the dog groomers is right up here. So we're going to come over here, check in, then I've got to go get his brother, and... Uh, Ah, oh, such big days. See, downtown Kingsport's got a lot of fun stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, we are. Thanks. Come on. Oh, singer's like, oh, I know, it's a maybe I'm like. not going in here. <laughs> okay, Mr. Singer, I'm going to put this down for just a minute. Okay, leaving Singer at the groomers was harder than I thought it was going to be. I mean... I didn't let him know that. I was like, oh. I felt like I was leaving my kid at preschool or something for the first time. But anyway, uh, Singer's at the groomers, probably about three hours. He'll be uh, getting all quaffed. And uh, 
Now I gotta go pick up Mr. Teddy. So here we go. <laughs> call him drippy boy he's like you know he he gets a little car sick and he he just drools and drools as you can see the drool pouring off his little chin and that is why my whole back seat has uh let's just say protection <laughs> anyhow he's getting ready to get his spa treatment too so i gotta drop mr teddy off singer's already there and uh and I might be able to resume part of my day. I think I'll, that'll buy me at least three hours with the time while dogs are getting their grooming. And you can see how, how drippy he is. Go ahead. And uh, we are almost, there's, the, I, there's no parking in front of the dog spa. So I'll just park in front of my studio and take my, my illegal spot that I always take. It's not really a spot, but I just make it one. I'm bad like that. I'm such a badass. I'm telling you. Breaking all the parking rules. Okay. And we will bring a Mr. Teddy Drippy Face on over to on over to the groomers. And here we go. Okay, here we are at Positive Ambition. And there's Teddy. He's getting ready to go back um, and get his spa day. And that's Miss Jessica's gonna take care of him. And Singer's in the back already. He's already had his bath. And when they come out, they'll be transformed into like proper looking dogs. So uh, we'll be checking back, I guess in about three hours, right? Okay, we'll see ya. He called to tell me that Singer was ready for me to pick him up. I'm so excited. So let's go get my boy. And here you see my perfectly quaffed poodle, Singer. Yay! Now I have my online student that's actually in Hawaii, Anne. So I have Anne, Shelly, and Reeves in the studio all at once. And meanwhile, Singer is sleeping off his spa day back to teaching. So uh, it, yeah, teaching online has its challenges, but it's still rewarding. I had Shelly in house. I had several students here, so we were getting our work done. And Singer and Teddy both got their haircuts. I've made it through the day. And yeah, cheers everybody. We're still <laughs> still drinking wine. My uh, student Anne just checked out from uh, my my student in Hawaii. Um, she's gone for the, for the day. And my kids are gonna be on their way down and we've decided to go out and eat at one of the restaurants downtown and bring our newly coiffed dogs so they can enjoy the day out. Maybe have a little sushi, just chill out and relax and enjoy the rest of uh, the evening. So that's the plan at this point. So, hey, happy St. Patrick's Day and uh, we'll see where else we go. I need to go wash out my brushes because this is where you know, I was I was working on my painting for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna turn off my lights. And I wanna show you something that's kind of funny. This, I'm gonna see if I can flip. Can I flip? Hmm. I don't know how to flip. All right, if you look here, this is the backboard that is often in a lot of my, um, uh, it's where my paint, my students paint. And if you look on the board, you're gonna see this is the lips that I was showing my student how to paint on her portrait. And I think this is the eye that we sh I showed her a couple weeks back. We have several different eyes that are always peeking out at us. So I've had people wanting to buy this board. No joke, I'm serious. People have asked, oh my God, I love that piece of art. And I'm like, really? It's our board, it's the uh, practice board. <laughs> So, anyhow, and this is where I left off today. I, I did do some work um, in this area of his neck, and I will resume tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be an easier day for me. I am going to go ahead and wash out the brushes. I don't even think I used half the brushes that I pulled out to work with, and I don't think I did. I think I only used two brushes, um, and I dropped them. So I think this brush got some paint. So I think I'll go ahead and wash these brushes while I wait on my kids to arrive. 
I'll take you guys to, you'll get to see a little bit. We're gonna go eat sushi and have a good evening. And so right now, I'm gonna wash some brushes out. And I've, I've, I've already done um, basically tutorials. I'm just sitting this phone right here because that's, that's how I do this. So, a little bit of Murphy soap. Washing my brushes off. Yeah, everything's good. And I really didn't, unfortunately, get a lot of painting done, but tomorrow's going to be a better day. But uh, <laughs> I hope this wasn't, this is probably one of those videos where you're like, what? But, you know, the, the life of an artist is just not that, um, it's not that glamorous because, you know, we <laughs> get our hands in Murphy soap and paint. I never have pretty nails. My nails are just kind of like, you know, I don't have beautiful manicures because our hands are in solvents all the time. And uh, yeah, there's that. But now my brushes are nice and clean, Murphy soaped, you know, and you've heard me, you know, go ahead and reform them back into the shape that they're supposed to originally have. And I will just squeeze the life out of them, putting my brushes back into shape. Yeah, so satisfying. Cause you know, it's the little things. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and go along on this little adventure. I hope that this is, you know, I hope you've enjoyed today's video so far. Uh, it's been a mishmash of everything, but you're getting to see basically a day in the life, right? Day in the life. Professional artist. And I'm <laughs> stacking my brushes up. You can see what a mess normally everything is here. Got my paints and I've, I've actually let my students borrow some of my paints or I'll take them out. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's another practice board. Okay, what you got here is. Okay, so we're out to eat. There's the boys all quaffed and beautiful. There's Hannah, also quaffed and beautiful. Oh, of course, and Matt over there, he's also quaffed and beautiful. And we are hanging out at a local uh, restaurant called Stir Fry, and we're gonna have us a little sushi fix. And we're having us some cocktails and enjoying our perfectly quaffed dogs. So, cheers. <laughs> what my g general day is like and uh yeah it's it's a good life right i um feel totally blessed in that i get to do what i do for a living um i i guess i should turn that down i uh i'm a lucky girl i'm a lucky girl and uh yeah it's sometimes i have to pinch myself just to just to uh, remind myself, yes, I'm not dreaming, this is real. And I have, you know, being able to um, have a, make a living out of something that I love is priceless. It's absolutely priceless. And, uh, and there you have it, folks. I am one lucky girl. So I am home. As you can see, I'm garage door going up. And we're going inside and, you know, I'll, okay. So I, I beat my son home, so I'm not sure how I did that. So I hope you enjoyed today and uh, thanks for joining me. We'll catch you on the next side, okay? Bye. See, there you go. That's a typical day for me. And, you know, I'm probably not too different than maybe some of the days that you have. You gotta get dogs to the groomers or kids to school, or, you know, you have to juggle your balls that you have in the air too, as, as well as I or anybody else. So yeah, there you go. That's a typical day for me. 
and uh and i hope you enjoyed today's video so if you have any questions about you know my day or anything that you see covered in a lot of these videos go ahead and leave it in the comment section perhaps you have a suggestion on maybe something you'd like to see me cover in a video so go ahead and leave that there too and uh yeah so glad you came along for the ride. And if you are my subscribers, thanks again. I appreciate you being here. And if you're not my subscribers, why not? Go ahead and subscribe. And uh, yeah, until the next weird video comes out or, you know, whatever. I will see you from Kingsport, Tennessee. Bye.